You know they're right when they say less is more. In just a moment, I'm going to show you how to turn these five fresh ingredients into one of my top 10 recipes of all time. Hey guys, Ash here at the Cheeky Indian, bringing you our take on Indian and Indianish recipes that will blow your taste buds apart. Honestly guys, this dish is inspiring. If the fresh ingredients and the banging flavours weren't enough, I've even chucked in a cheat in there to make this even easier. So take a second and hit like and subscribe. It's absolutely free and it really helps us spread the food love. So before we start, remember the ingredients and links are in the description below and leave us a comment, we'd love to hear from you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get cracking. First up is a little bit of prep. These ingredients are so simple, there's hardly anything to do. So we're just gonna halve and peel the onions and that is it for the onions. And then we're gonna crush and peel one whole bulb of garlic, probably about eight or nine cloves. Chilies are simple, just rip the heads off and it's done. Next, foil line a baking tray, then top it with a foil lined rack. Put loads of holes in the foil and that will help any of the juices we don't want to run through. So onto the masala, to so grab yourself a food processor and drop in there the onions that we peeled and chopped earlier. Next is the cloves of garlic. Then we've got one bunch of coriander. Rip the stalks off, but chuck it all in there. We're gonna use everything. Next up, we're gonna put one teaspoon of salt and about half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. So these are the only real spices going in. Now here's our topped chilies. Next we've got the juice of one fresh lemon. Use a squeezer like this and then get your hands and get all the flesh and the juice out. Guys, remember to hit like if you like what you've seen so far. So we're gonna process this for about two minutes or until you've got a nice thick coarse paste. Now I normally taste it at this point, add a bit of salt if you think it needs it. And when you're happy with the flavor, we're ready for the next step. But first, set your ovens to 180C. This fresh masala goes with all types of fish, but I'm using it with cod today. Not just any cod, but here's our cheat guys, frozen fish. That's right, frozen at sauce. This is so easy to cook with and tastes amazing. I've paired the fish up today with his best friend. That's right, potatoes. Now these are just skin on, halved, parboiled for about 10 minutes. As you can see, I've spread them out nicely on the rack and now I'm gonna generously spoon on a big fat dollop of the masala. And when that's done, just pat it down just like this so it's about half an inch thick. The sugars in the onion are gonna caramelize and give you a lovely charred charcoal finish. Slices of lemon all over the fish and the last step is to drizzle oil all over. Just check out how fresh this is. So looking forward to this. So drop the tray in the middle of the oven, 180C for 20 to 25 minutes. And if you're vegetarian, try replacing the fish with some large meaty portobello mushrooms. You'll think you're dreaming. Oh my God, check this out. Words I cannot describe. Check out the charring on this. It's almost like the tandoor has married a barbecue and found its home inside your oven. This fish is cooked super beautifully. Just check out how moist and sumptuous this looks. So I've eaten mine with some potatoes, a chopped salad, and some lemon mayonnaise and some flatbreads. And of course, serve it with love. That's right guys, hit subscribe, it's absolutely free and it helps us spread the food love. Thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one, which is coming up right now. Thanks again guys.